What's going on everybody? It's Conti here with another video. How to create an iris out effect in DaVinci Resolve 16. To insert the video file that you wish to use in your DaVinci Resolve project, in your edit window, go to File, Import File and Import Media. You should find your inserted media inside the media pool in your edit window. Left click on the thumbnail for your video, hold your mouse button down and drag your mouse cursor to the timeline. Let go of your left mouse button once the edit is at the start of your timeline, at the zero second mark. My intention is to create an iris out effect that focuses on people crossing the road in my video clip. Go to left click once on the fusion icon at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve window. Ensure that you can see two nodes on your node window inside your fusion screen. By left clicking on the border of the keyframe section and dragging this out of the way. And left clicking on media in one and dragging this closer to the other node which is media out one. Left click on this dark grey screen with the red and blue rectangles. To be presented with media in one and media out one. Ensure that Media In 1 is selected by left clicking on it once so it has a red outline. Above your node window you should see a selection of tools. Left click once on the ellipse tool. Should you not see this tool at all, hold shift and press space on your keyboard instead and type ellipse into the search box to find the tool itself. Left click to select and left click on add. You should now see a third node in your DaVinci Resolve window, above Media In 1. I'm going to left click on the border of the Media Out 1 preview box at the top of my screen and drag my mouse cursor down holding the left mouse button so that I have a clearer view of my video. At present the iris is already set to show only part of the construction site video clip which I have inserted into my project. I wish for the whole video clip to be visible at the start of my clip. On the timeline which appears inside the fusion window you should see a red indicator at the far left side next to zero which basically represents the first frame of your video clip. In order to show the whole imagery we need to increase the size of the circle. Hold control on your keyboard, ensure that your mouse cursor is in the middle of your preview screen and roll the scroll button on your mouse downwards to zoom out. With my red indicator at frame 0, I will go to Inspector and underneath Tools for my Ellipse node, which I still have selected, a set of properties for this ellipse shape are shown on screen. Attention must be paid to center X and Y, width and height. The center X and Y coordinates will determine where on the screen your shape will appear and the width and height can be used to manipulate the size. Left click on the diamond icon next to center Y to create a keyframe. This will ensure that the iris shape will be centralized on the video clip at the very beginning. Now left click on the diamond icons next to width and height. I'm going to increase the size by double clicking in each of the boxes for width and height and typing in a number so that the circular shape expands and covers the whole rectangular shape of the video screen. The resolution of my video clip is shown on screen. 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. In order to cover this size I'm going to change the width to 1.3 Press enter when you've typed in the number. You can also change the size manually by left clicking and dragging the grey circles which appear next to width and height. Repeat the same process for height, changing 0.5 to 1.3. As we can see on the preview with the green circle, the iris shape manages to cover the whole video clip. Bear in mind the further away the green circle is from your video clip edges, the more frames and the longer the duration it will take for the iris shape 
to reduce in size and appear on screen. Going to the timeline on my Media Out 1 window, I am going to left click on the red indicator and drag this across the timeline to a point in the video where the people on the street appear. By frame 40, the people crossing the road have already come into view. This is the point in my video where I want the iris shape to appear. I'm going to increase the soft edge to 0.02 and left click on the keyframe icon so that this setting is applied throughout the rest of the video when the iris shape appears. The iris shape itself should have a blurred edge to it. Left click on the keyframes for center X and Y, width and height. This will set up frame 40 in my video as the final frame where the iris shape is at maximum size. Returning to my timeline, I'm going to left click on the red indicator and drag this further along my timeline to frame 180. Use the zoom tool at the top of your media out one window to have a closer view of your video. By frame 180, I want the iris shape to surround the two people walking across the road. Therefore, I'm going to left click on the ellipse green arrows which appear in the middle of the circle and drag this so that it is over the people walking across the road. You should see a green line appearing between where the arrows have been moved to and its original central position. Note how center X and Y coordinates are manipulated also when you move this manually. Go to left click on the diamond icons for width and height. And in order to make the iris shape surround the two people and cut off the surroundings more, I'm going to reduce the width and height to 0.2. Again, setting up three keyframes at frame 180. What I want to have happen now is for the iris shape to pan and follow the people crossing the road. Therefore, I'm going to left click on the red indicator on the timeline once again, and using my mouse button with the left mouse button down, drag this to the right to frame 240. Bear in mind now my iris shape does not focus on the people themselves. And so what I want to do is left click on the arrows once again and drag this to the left where the people currently are. Ensure that your box where the two arrowheads come from is centralized on your subject. Again, center X and Y have been updated with the keyframe automatically set. Left click once on width and height to ensure that the size remains consistent as we track the two people walking across the road. And what I finally want in my video is for the iris to decrease in size so that my video fades to black. I will now drag the red indicator to the right to the final frame 288. Left click on the box with the two arrow heads and ensure that this is on top of the two people once again. Again, note how a green line appears from where you dragged the circular shape from on your preview window. Center X and Y is set with another keyframe at this point. Left click once on the width keyframe and the same for height and reduce the width and height to zero so that your final frame doesn't show any of your video clip. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. This is a big thank you message as well to the 100 plus subscribers of this channel for your support and for watching my videos. And I hope that you continue enjoying and finding my videos useful on this channel. Join me soon for another video. Take care.